Hello, everybody, and welcome to a big tier list. This is every Walt Disney animated movie, Disney Toon movie, so the direct-to-video sequels, most of them, and the Pixar movies tier list. There are a few missing uh, from the list that I made because I tried to chronologically put this together. And there are some that aren't in any of those that just weren't in lists. So, like... It was missing a lot of, like, random poo direct-to-video movies on here. Uh, and then it's missing Teacher's Pet and James and the Giant Peach. Uh, otherwise, it has pretty much everything, and plus some extras. Um, however, there are quite a few I've never seen. So let's get those out of the way real quick. Uh, I haven't seen The Reluctant Dragon, Saludos Amigos, I don't think I've seen uh, this one, which is... Uh... Oh god, it's something like... I can't remember. It's it's some weird movie. I haven't seen... I don't think I've seen Calibero's Make My Music or Fun and Fancy Free or Melody Time. Um, have I seen Sleeping Beauty? I don't think I've seen Sleeping Beauty, actually. Um, I don't think I've seen Sword in the Stone. I don't think I've seen the original Winnie the Pooh or Black Cauldron. Or the DuckTales movie. Um, I've seen these. I haven't seen the Doug movie. I watched it on Nickelodeon, so I didn't see that one. I haven't seen the Tigger movie. Most of the Winnie the Pooh stuff I haven't seen. Unfortunately, I haven't seen Dinosaur. Or have I? No, I don't think so, because I'd remember it. I haven't seen the Recess movie. I haven't seen Return to Neverland. Haven't seen Treasure Planet, or Jungle Book 2, or the Piglet movie, or Home on the Range, or the Heffalump movie, or Valiant, or Chicken Little for that matter. Um, the Wild, whatever this is, I haven't seen. Haven't seen to Meet the Robinsons. I believe it or not, I haven't seen Wally. -E. Haven't seen any of the Tinkerbell movies, so we'll go through that. I haven't seen all of Up, so I'm not going to put it on the list. Haven't seen, again, Tinkerbell. Haven't seen that Christmas Carol. Ha uh, Tinkerbell, again. Mars Meets Moms. I haven't seen anything other than Cars 1. Um, this Winnie the Pooh movie. I actually haven't seen Brave. Uh, another Tinkerbell. The Frank and Weenie movie. Uh, haven't seen Monsters University. This is embarrassing. I haven't seen Planes. Another Tinkerbell. The other Planes. Another Tinkerbell. Haven't seen The Good Dinosaur. People don't like it, but I still want to give it a chance. Haven't seen Finding Dory. I will explain why during Finding Nemo. <sighs> There's Cars 3. Haven't seen that. I haven't seen the remake of The Lion King. I don't care. I haven't seen Onward yet. It is sitting down there for me to watch. Haven't seen Luca. Haven't seen Turning Red yet. It is also down there to watch. Uh, this Phineas and Ferb movie I haven't seen. Uh, don't, it's a little bit after my time. Uh, I don't think I've seen the Mickey Once Upon a Christmas movie or an extremely goofy movie. Um, I haven't seen Cinderella 2. What's that? Yes, yes. Okay, I haven't seen the Milo's Return, the Atlantis sequel. I haven't seen Lion King 1 and a half. Haven't seen this Winnie the Pooh movie, or any of them for that matter. Haven't seen this Three Musketeers thing, or this Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. I haven't seen Kronk's New Groove, Brother Bear 2. I don't think I've seen Fox and the Hound 2. I haven't seen Cinderella 3, although people say it's actually really good. I don't think I've seen either Brave Little Toaster movie. Um, I haven't seen the Kim Possible movie. I wasn't really big on that as a kid. I need to watch it at some point. The Buzz Lightyear movie, haven't seen that. Haven't Again, haven't seen Phineas and Ferb. Haven't seen this Leroy and Stitch movie. Mickey's Magical Christmas, I don't think I've seen another Kim Possible movie. Oh, it's a Stitch in Time. Interesting. Uh, the Stitch movie, I don't I haven't seen. Uh, Tortoise and the Hare. No, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh... Oh, there's three Brave Little Toaster movies? Well, I haven't seen any of them. That just shows why I pay attention. Uh, the House... They made a House of Mouse movie? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen the Proud Family movie. 
haven't seen the Diary of a Wimpy, Wimpy Kid animated movie, and this, I've only seen like the first and second Ice, War, Ice, Ice World, Ice Age movies, so yeah, that knocks down quite a bit. Um, <laughs> that's a big chunk of movies I haven't seen, but sorry if you were hoping to see rankings of that, but we'll go ahead and do the ones I have seen, and a lot of these I'm not going to remember too well, like this one, Snow White. I haven't seen it in years, but it was the first Disney movie, animated movies, so I'm going to give it a C. Um, I'm sure if I watch it again, that would probably change. Pinocchio, again, another one I haven't seen in years, but I think I remember liking it a little bit more than Snow White, so we'll give it a B. Fantasia is incredible for its time, for it being like the third or fourth Disney movie. Um, it's arguably an S-tier movie to me, Um I want to at least give it a high A. I don't know if I want to give it an S. For now, I think I'm going to leave it at A. Dumbo, again, haven't seen it in years, but we'll put it at C because I think it's okay. Bambi... I feel like I saw this recently. I'll give it a C. It was okay. Ichabod and Mr. Toad... Uh, basically two movies and one or two shorts um, again another semi okay movie Cinderella I saw recently it was actually pretty decent we'll give that a B nice story nice everything Alice in Wonderland another one I saw de recently that is also a B that is a trippy movie very trippy Peter Pan can't remember if I saw this one recently either but from what I remember, it was pretty fun. Lady and the Tramp. I saw this fairly recently. It was okay, honestly. Um, 101 Dalmatians, another one that I would put... Actually, we'll put low B for this one. I think it's pretty good. Saw that one recently. Same with this one, Jungle Book. Pretty solid. Oops. Where did I drop that? There it is. Okay. Pretty solid. I'll put it in B. A lot of people really like this movie. The music's great. I'll be honest. Okay. Ick, the Aristocats did not age well. <laughs> um, it's still fun. And um, it's it's a fun movie, but like it doesn't hold up that great because of some of the caricatures in it. Robin Hood, also fairly solid. I'll put it high C, but they reused a lot of assets from Jungle Book, so like... The Rescuers, this is one I haven't seen in a really long time, but I remember enjoying it. Um, Fox and the Hound is just a fun movie. It was actually, I think, one of my favorites as a kid, but watching it recently, it's not as good. Uh, it's probably somewhere around here. Great Mouse Detective, another one I think I really enjoyed as a kid, but upon watching it again, it's okay. I do like Vincent Price as the villain, though. <laughs> That's fun. Oliver and Company... That's like down here. I mean, Billy Joel does the music. It's okay. It's like kind of just a okay movie. Like stuff happens. That's about all I can say about it. Little Mermaid. This this one's an A tier movie. I love it. I love Little Mermaid. For what it is, it's such a great movie, and it it looks it still looks gorgeous. If you watch it in HD now, that movie was made in 1989, and it looks like it could have been made recently. Okay, Rescuers Down Under, I believe I liked more than The Rescuers, but I don't remember it too much, but we'll put it above here. I loved The Rescuers movies as a kid, but I don't, for some reason, I can't remember them. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, high A, easy. This movie's great, I love it. It looks gorgeous, the music is great. Um, it's arguably one of my favorite Disney movies, honestly. I really don't know what else to say. It's just a fun freaking movie. Aladdin. Aladdin. I'm doing this because I, I, I'm morally obligated, uh, and this has nothing to do with the fact that Robin Williams is in this movie. Um, even before I got really into Robin Williams, this was one of my favorite Disney movies. Aladdin gets an S tier. I love it. Nightmare on... I was about to say Nightmare on Elm Street. No, yeah, that'd be weird if that was Disney. Nightmare Before Christmas. I've only seen it once. 
but for what it is, it is really good. I'm going to give it an A. That stop motion is incredible. And I don't know why this is the only Jim Hedge. Well, okay, sorry, Frank and Weenie's in here, but James and the Giant Peaches, and I still find that weird. Oh, yay. Okay, we're on The Lion King. In my opinion, one of the most overrated Disney movies, even though it is from my favorite era of Disney movies. It is still entertaining, though, so I will actually put it B. It's, it's overrated, but it's still good, okay? More on their, that uh, more on Lion King later. Quite a bit later, actually, apparently. Okay, uh, a Goofy movie, which I actually saw recently. This is a really good movie, and it's wholesome, and it's adorable, and I love it. B tier. Actually, A tier. <laughs> uh, it's a great movie. I love it so much. Pocahontas. A lot of people think this movie is okay. I think the music is incredible. Now, however, if they had left If I Never Knew You in the movie, it would have been a better movie. I can't justify giving it an A, but I will give it a higher than Lion King. Because I think I, I still prefer it. Eh. You know what? We'll put it there. I probably need to watch them again, but we'll put it there. Okay, here we go. This string, this next string of a few movies. Holy cow, yeah, this next string, except for like one. The original Toy Story. That's not Toy Story. The original Toy Story, the first Pixar movie. I think I have to. I think I have to give Toy Story S tier. Because of what it did for animation, what it did for Pixar, what it did for Disney... I think I have to. I love that movie. It's so good, and it holds up still. Hunchback of Notre Dame. One of the darkest Disney movies. It has arguably my one of my favorite Disney songs in Hellfire. I love this movie. It holds up so good. I can't give it an S tier, but I put it right there at A. Right there. It might be S tier, honestly. Um... It's been a while since I've seen it, though. If I, I, I come back when I see it again, Hercules, my favorite Disney movie, fight me. It's an S tier. It has nothing. It's 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 historical accuracy or its mythological accuracy is terrible, but I love it. I love everything about that movie. Go the distance. Can't won't say I'm in love. Um, almost there. Um, zero to hero. Um. Phil's song, I can't remember, but like I just love this movie. Hercules is S tier. As well as this one. Mulan is also S tier. That female lead and just the, the music reflection, Make a Man Out of You, one of my favorite Disney songs. Um, the villain's great. The, the relationships are great. It's just so good. It's so good. That easily is S tier. And like I said, there's a string of really, really, really good movies in here. This is the only one I wouldn't put really high. A Bug's Life. I know I liked it a lot as a kid. I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I'm still going to put it in B tier because I do remember liking it as a kid. Then we have Tarzan. This is one I'm also going to put in S tier because the music is fire. Phil Collins wow and the movie's just fun like the music is so good dude you could sing you'll be in my heart son of man strangers like me two worlds oh my god oh so good so good i love this movie it's arguably probably my second or third favorite disney movie pure disney movie then we have toy story 2 fight me also s tier i think this might actually be better than toy story 1 in my opinion um, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I love this movie, the introduction of the new characters, the dynamic, the relation, it's just so good. It's so good, man. Okay. Did I miss? Yo, I missed Toy Story 4. <laughs> I actually haven't seen Toy Story 4. 
I hate to say that, but I don't know if I'm going to ever see it. Should have stopped at three. We'll get there. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Fantasia 2000. I actually saw this in theaters when it came out. And I have the Blu-ray combo of Fantasia and this. This is not as good. Um, it just It's like they're trying to do this again and it just doesn't work. It's still pretty, but it just doesn't flow like the original. It doesn't feel nearly as good, but it's not terrible. So I will put it in C, I think. Then we have Emperor's New Groove, which I actually saw for the first time recently, and I really enjoyed it. I'm not the biggest fan of David Spade, but he does really good in this movie. And the movie ends up being really wholesome and, and good. And I think I have to put it in A. No, I'll put it really high B, I think. Yeah, I think that's fair. Basically, any of these are borderline A. Then we have Atlantis, The Lost Empire, which I actually watched quite a bit as a kid, and I just watched it again recently. And it's better than it, it's better than a lot of people say it is. It's not perfect. And certain bits of the plot are, I don't want to say iffy, but they're like not, they're not executed well. Um, so I'm going to put it, in, I still think it's an enjoyable movie, like more so than these, so I will put it in B. Then we have Monsters, Inc. I actually haven't seen Monsters, Inc. in a really long time, but uh, but it's a great movie. I'm actually going to put this in A. Like, it's just wholesome and beautiful. I love it. Lilo and Stitch, another one that I saw for the first time recently that ended up being very good. Can't quite justify giving it an A, but it's close. It could jump up there. I like it a little bit more than Emperor's New Groove. Saw it about the same time, too, but it's really good. Finding Nemo. Oh boy, what can I say about this movie? I said I was going to say something during Finding Dory. Um, it's a good movie. I've just seen it too many times. Uh, my little sister, when she was really young, like a baby, like a toddler, it was her favorite movie, and she'd watch it multiple times a day. So there was one time I was stuck somewhere with no cable, so I had to watch this twice a day for a week. And I don't think I can ever watch it again. <laughs> that being said, it is not a terrible movie. I will put it in B, I just can't watch it again. Brother Bear, another one I saw recently that's actually really good. Phil Collins does the music again. Uh, it's not an S-tier movie. I don't even know if I'd call it an A-tier movie. But it's definitely a high B. It's very good. And the music is amazing too. Okay, The Incredibles. I did see this movie again recently, I think, and it was it was still really solid. Um, it's not my favorite Pixar. Um, I think I'll put it in B, personally, somewhere around here. Bambi 2. I saw this recently uh, on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'd arguably say it's better than the original, but it's not perfect, and Patrick Stewart's in it for some reason. Um, it's not great. But it was actually surprisingly entertaining. I'll give it a high C, I think. Cars. Another overrated movie that got really popular for some reason. That is just a solid C movie. It exists. I have no desire to watch 2 and 3. Sorry. I mean, for what it is, it's good. I'll probably give it a high C. Honestly, it could even be a low B, but I'll put it down here. It's like the highest of C's. Ratatouille, really solid movie. I like it a lot. Haven't seen it in a little while, though, but it, it's at least a B. Bolt, another one I thought was pretty good. I don't think, again, not perfect, but it was entertaining. I would probably give this one a high C, honestly. Yeah, I think so. Oh, the last traditionally animated Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog. Pretty darn good. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, I'd say it was better than those movies. Low B, for sure. It's good. I like what they did with it. I've only seen it once, though. Toy Story 3, the conclusion to a childhood movie series. This is a really hard one for me to rank. Because all three Toy Stories... and I, I, I refuse to acknowledge that fourth one. I'm sorry, but they're all so good. And the conclusion was so good and so well executed. 
I think I'm going to give this an S tier. I can't decide which one between... It probably goes something like that, honestly. They're all really close. And that was the perfect... If They, they should have stopped after 3. 4 is a cash cow that is just doing it for money. And I hated that. It didn't need another movie. That ending was perfect. And you can't say that a lot of, about a lot of movies. Okay. Tangled. Very, very good movie. This is a low A. In great movie. Way better than I expected it to be. It actually got me feeling a lot of emotions. Very, very good. Wreck-It Ralph. Ooh. You know what? Mm. It's in between high A and low S. Because I adore this damn movie. I, I think I have to give Wreck-It Ralph an S. I adore that movie. Everything about it. All the video game and pop culture references. It's so good. Frozen. Another kind of overrated movie, but it's still actually entertaining. And I, Let It Go is a good song, okay? I'll give it a B. It's pretty good. Big Hero 6. I've only seen this movie once, but it was so good. I'm giving it an A. I got really emotional with it. A tier, for sure. Inside Out, another one. This is going to be borderline S. I'm sure if I see it again, it probably ends up an S tier movie. But right now, I'm going to give it high A. Because I've always... It, it really struck a chord with me when I first saw it because it's a movie about emotions and I've always been a particularly run I particularly run off of emotions so it really hit me hard and I'm sure if I see it again it's probably going to end up one of my favorite Pixar movies but right now we'll put it in A Zootopia another great movie uh, this is another A tier movie so good and the twist the twist near the end was great Okay, Moana. Ooh. <laughs> Activated Google again. No, I wasn't talking to you. This movie's really fun. The music is great, but certain parts of the plot are... Eh. So I'm actually going to give it a very high B. It's almost a low A, but it's, it's definitely right there. It's great. I still enjoy the movie a lot. Coco. Wow. Yeah. I think I have to. <laughs> There's like a double plot twist, and I cried at the end. <laughs> I I love that movie. It is so good. Incredibles 2. Is it better than Incredibles 1? I'd put them almost on par with each other, so we'll stick it at B. Good follow-up, though. It does follow Mrs. Uh, Incredible, or the, the the mother, a lot more, though. Okay, Rec uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I don't think it's quite as good as the first one, but I'm still going to give it a high A, because I just love the concept of the movie. I don't think it's as good as the first one, though. Frozen 2, here's a controversial opinion. I think it's better than the first one. Would I give it an A tier, though? No. It's going to be a high B. I, th I even think the music is better. The main song, Into the Unknown, is better than Let It Go. Don't care what anybody says. I think it's a better movie. I do wish they used Sven and... Um... A drug of Blake. Oh, the guy's name. But basically the dude and the, the reindeer a lot more. But although the, his song is, is priceless and it made me laugh when I saw it in theaters. All right, Soul. Soul. This movie was really fun. However, there were bits and pieces that I think were kind of weird. Um, and I'm not going to go into that in this movie. But it's a good movie, and it enter it actually did entertain me, so it'll get a B. It was still fun. Okay, then we have Raya and the Last Dragon. I saw this one really recently, and it's actually really well done and everything. 
and Aquafina is the dragon, and she kind of annoys me, but she does a really good job in this movie. I think I might give this a low A, actually. Then Encanto, the most recent one I've seen. I saw this in theaters. This movie is great. Like, I love the characters in this movie. Like, it, it, right now, it at least goes, like, mid-A. It could move up pretty easily, though. Very good. All right, then we go on to some direct-to-DVD movies here that I've seen. Um, we start off here with Return of Jafar, where they replace Robin Williams with Dan Castellaneta, uh, Homer Simpson. Still good, but like it just seems like it didn't really need to exist, because it's just like, oh, Jafar is back. Okay, uh, I will give it a C. It's actually probably better than some of these, but... Uh -uh. King of Thieves, on the other hand, they got Robin Williams to come back for a direct-to-video movie. Um, I still don't put it on par with Aladdin 1, but it's still really good. I might have to give it a low A. It's either a low A or a high B. You know what? We'll do this. We'll go high B. I don't think it's quite an A tier. But it's still really fun, and it has one of the dumbest jokes that always makes me laugh. Okay, the Beauty and the Beast sequels, um, the uh, Christmas one, I can't remember what it's called, uh, something Magical Christmas, eh, it's okay, um, probably a C tier movie, however, this Bell's Magical World was meant to be the pilot to a TV show, and not even a pilot, it was like the first three episodes, and then they're like, well, the pilot got cancelled, let's make it into a movie, and it's, it doesn't run well, and it's not great, um, I think, yeah, I honestly think I'd put it in D tier. It's really not that good. Um, Pocahontas 2. Um, Journey to the New World. Oh, I've only seen this the one time. I remember it being okay, so I'll put it in C. I remember it, it's better than this. Um, Lion King 2. Here we go. Controversial opinion. I think it's better than the original. I mean, it was a direct-to-video movie, and the music the music hits you harder, even though Elton John did the damn music for the first one. And they got Matthew Broderick back, which is really surprising. Um, I think it's better than the first one. Yeah, I'd actually put it low A, honestly. It's great. Which is insane. <laughs> okay, Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. Here we go. This movie's actually pretty solid for what it is. It's not as good as the first one, but I would actually probably still put it in B. Because, well, Tara Strong plays Ariel's daughter, first of all. Um, the, the villain is pretty much the same thing as, as Ursula, but it's like the opposite. It's a normal human girl that wants to live in the ocean, so it's, it's good. I'll put it in B. I think it was pretty good. Okay, Lady and the Tramp 2. I saw this one fairly recently. I think it's actually better than the original. I will put it probably high C, but not B, quite B. It, it was it was good. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. We're going to move Bolt and Lady and the Tramp into B tier. Or Lady and the Tramp 2 into B tier. Because, yeah, I think it's better than all these movies. Hunchback and Notre Dame 2. I've only seen it once, and it was okay... It was really only created to give Quasimodo a love interest. Um, I'll probably put it in D tier as well because it didn't like most of these direct to video sequels didn't really need to exist. Um, I'll put that one in D tier as well. 101 Dalmatians 2. I think I've seen this one. Okay, moving on. Uh, I, I tried to discuss this with Crystal because I can't really remember this movie. Uh, she just they described it a little bit and I don't remember it so I'm actually just gonna put it in haven't seen I might have seen it but I don't remember okay Mulan 2 and there's the Google thing again this movie was also okay another movie that didn't really need to exist I'm gonna put it in D because it's just like how do you know it's not that good I do remember the Pocahontas one being okay though okay Tarzan 2 here we go this is a sequel that's actually tolerable plus George Carlin's in it which is great I will put it in C it's not perfect but it's it's okay 
Okay. Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch has a glitch. I watched this one with Crystal just recently when we were watching like Bambi 2 and Lady and the Tramp 2. And I thought it was okay. It was pretty good. I would probably put it in C again. It's not perfect, but it was decent. Then we have Little Mermaid Ariel's Beginning... I'll probably put this in C. I don't think it's absolute garbage, but it was okay. I've only seen it like once. And then finally we have Tarzan and Jane, which, like the Bell's Magical World, was, I believe, supposed to be a pilot to the sh a show. Um, and the animation's completely different, so it's really not great. Yeah, I'm going to put that in D tier as well. Um, not perfect, not absolute hot garbage, but... Don't know if I'd watch these again, honestly, but that's my official tier list for every Disney movie ever made. Uh, maybe I'll redo it when I've seen some more of these, because most of these are on a list to watch. But as of right now, that's my tier list. Leave a comment if you agree or disagree with me, or leave a comment where you would put stuff, because I want to hear what you have to say about this one. Thanks for watching this long one. This was a bit of a long one. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you guys later.